Hello and welcome to Requiem Empire of the Lost. Next, week 11. How's everybody doing? Pretty good. 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 Tired yeah. of the fucking heat. Alright, I guess. So same old, same old. This week we got ourselves a new face. We what? stole it from someone. Yeah. But, but they... <laughs> Do I say hi or what? What do I do? Just say hi. No. Hi. Somebody give me a line. What's your name? <laughs> oh, it's um. You, kid. Oh, okay, let's see. Introduce yourself, you fuck. Okay. I'm sorry, well, are you having to I'm... think about what your name is? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on, I'm not. No, Just say first your first time. name. That's all Rob, you need to do. Robert. Okay. God. There you go. Hey, oh, Robert. Damn, no, wait, no, no, I'm going with Fred. No, it's Robert, it's there. It's Fred. It's Robert. His name Robert. is Robert. Congratulations, you shall now be judged forever. God damn it. What? It's on the internet. You can never forget. <laughs> never forgetty. Never forgetty. Why did I finish that? So, we <laughs> had to skip a week last week, unfortunately, due to family... Intervening and all that type of fun jazz, but we're here. Some of us are queer, and we're <laughs> about to see Asteron eat it. Yeah. No, he already ate it. Now we're gonna see him die. Ah, uh, true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's not wrong. <laughs> oh, Adrian, you got a new haircut. I just realized. Nice. I thought. I yep, all my it. hair is gone. She's trying to become Raya. Essentially, it seems like. Oh, now show she, it oh, off a bit. Show it off a bit. What? Show it off a bit. Your hair. Show your haircut again. All gone. <laughs> Terrifying. Ooh, well, she's trying to become it. the old Raya. Oh yeah, because Raya. Did, I legitimately did do this haircut well after creating her. Mm. Now you have to do a flame, flame. um... Oh, wait, yeah. Flame. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Because <laughs> I just remember what it was. Fire. It's a flame mullet. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're not, we're not bringing back the mullet. We're not. Bring back the mullet. That's not happening. Bring back the mullet. Why not? But let's go ahead and jump into this cluster truck. As we open back into the scene, the camera zooms in from the very familiar scene of the dark plane, the swirling mass of darkness that fixates itself directly above the plane, at spreading the eerie, darkened light, which is omnipresent everywhere in the dark as our camera moves past the large right. tower that looms in the distance going directly towards the now lava filled lakes and pillars that exit the plane itself and just enter into the sky making a concophony of bright colors and hues and to those wary very dangerous and uninviting scene as the camera zooms past all this and continues on to the large black twin towered building with the ornamentations of oxen like creatures smoothed to the point of no features being seen and only looking like silhouettes at a distance as it pierces through the black stone and traces along the floor made out of dragon hide before stopping at a large ornate door piercing through that it goes by the group of adventurers here having their conversation and further into that to the back room where one Feyana looks in horror to Asteron, who 
has his eyes slowly going to the back of his head, foam leaving from his mouth, his tail wrapped among itself, almost nodding itself, as he's clawing up at his neck in a desperate manner of what seems like choking, freaking out, and dying. As this is where we pick up for today's game. Alright. Hmm? Who's where? where? Huh? Who's where? What? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so when I see this, uh, my eyes widen. I back a bit, and I scream to the others. Um, guys, I think something's wrong with Astron. Uh. I think he needs help, and then I run over to him, and I see if I can find what the hell's wrong with this fucking idiot. <laughs> what do I roll I'm for that? A spot immediately a out of the bath. As you check him over, go ahead and make whatever knowledge roll you think will deem appropriate. Oh, Granny, yeah, knowledge. Ugh. Given Fine. that Let's she has had a seizure very <laughs> recently, I didn't even change her thing. Run back. Would she know to keep his head up so he doesn't swallow his own tongue? I don't know. Did Arsis explain that to her afterwards? Because she was kind of in a fit where she didn't know what was happening. Yeah, I was. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, basically unconscious. Kind of out. Of As it. you look at him, yeah. Bayana. All you know, see okay. is him freaking out, his hands flailing towards his neck, his eyes slowly hmm. rolling back further, and his fangs just snapping at the air, like, unconsciously, leaving you at, like, a miss to what you actually need to do for him. As the rest of the group, whoever <clears throat> makes the attempt, Raya, you burst in there, dripping wet, and... <laughs> look at the scene of Astron on the floor on the other side of the bed. Really, Feyana's head, the only thing you see, but her face is riddled with stress and fear that looks all too familiar with the scene of something going horribly wrong. Uh, I'm, gonna actually, I'm wrong. gonna at least pick him up off of the floor and put him on the bed. Idea. As you do, his reptilian-like tail, demonic in nature, just begins to wrap around your forearm tightly as you get the moment of fixating yourself to lift him over it. His hands still scratching at his neck, and as you, like, pick him up, like, unconsciously, he just leans in and bites into your shoulder as the tail it's begins fine, to wrap it. around you. What about everyone else? I imagine by that point, uh, Akiyama would also burst in. Taking a <laughs> tiny bit longer, because, um, just general reluctance. <laughs> but, you know, by that point, he would also burst in in a similar state. A bit less of a I imagine. And, uh, he's gonna, you know, move over. And, I mean, like, attempt to give him a look, see what's going on, but this isn't exactly what he knows. He's good with, he can stitch up an injury, stuff like this more mm. internal isn't really great with. I was no older one, good. <laughs> God damn it, this is the great omen. So as you look him over, it seems to resemble that with what you can be akin to of the most severe overdose you've seen in your life. Yeah. Okay. And how would one normally deal with someone suffering from an overdose? 
depending on the circumstance, the first thing they would make sure that they do is don't choke on their own vomit or swallow their tongue. Saying yeah. that his tongue doesn't seem to be the same structure as humans, being serpentine, it kind of is confusing on that aspect. All right, let's throw in a knowledge planes, and maybe, I don't know if stabilize is the kind of thing that could fit in for something like that, but at least to know, like, basic knowledge of at least what position to hold them in. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so throw knowledge planes in to see if I know anything particular about uh, whatever the fuck he comes, I forget. His his kind. Where it's like, oh yeah, I know. That's that thing that they do. <laughs> and then... For we're, we're, what you know. Yeah. It's not much. It's not much, no. Especially I, I in the terms it's... of how to stop a demon from having a seizure. Yeah. Surprisingly enough, you didn't read that chapter. No. It wasn't even in the book. It was footnotes. Mm. Uh, and then we're going to all stabilize, see what we can do on the basic amount. Also, I don't know if it would count for this, but I do have that plus five. It wouldn't for count me. for this. Yeah. It's for four. So As abortion. you try to do what you know best... You prop him to his side and, like, look at both Raya and Feyana curtly and, like, ask them what has he ingested, basically, because that's what you would need to know in something like this. Yeah. I have no I idea. Fucking, I don't fucking know. Not, none of you can keep an eye on him at all? He just went in this room and there wasn't a need. this happened. Which at this point you kind of just sigh and you look to both of them and... You know the best thing he probably needs to do is get rid of, rid of whatever is in his stomach, but someone would need to hold his jaws. And then the last person needs to make the effort to go in. I need one of you to... Both pin them down and hold his jaw open, and I need the other one. To, I, I I basically need you to make him vomit. Um, I can hold him. Okay. How 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 do I go about holding him? I need and you to make force a... his mouth open. I need you to make a strength check. Oppose to Astron. Strength check. <clears throat> this okay. is a little familiar. Uh, just making sure. Yes. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Uh -oh. I, uh -oh. I couldn't. <laughs> Possibly have not done that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And then Raya, or not Raya, <laughs> Feyana, I need you to make a slide of. Or who's going in his mouth? No, I. Hey, no, I'm just fighting right him, not me. Quite. No. You, you're gonna do it. Oh you're, my god. You said yes. I would, but I'm holding him and forcing his mouth open. Wait, do we uh, want to be me? Because yeah. I have a. Alright. Do you have, okay. you have, the, you have the smallest <laughs> arms. No, no, we're not doing so this through two rolls. I don't have any sleight of hand either. You're gonna do it because I asked you to. <laughs> do it. Alfie, do you Am remember I... what her sleight of hand is? Yes. Do you, do you know what my what sleight of hand is? It is zero, and it is also off speed, a skill which she has more of than me. Fine. Fuck it. There. Happy. It is more than what I have. As you try to reach into his large reptilian head, your fur standing on end with the unpleasant scene. 
as you try to reach back and grab whatever gland or anything to give you a reaction that you're looking to forward towards, you find nothing that you can work with, but something more frightening. You actually feel the back of his throat, which seems to be swelling close slowly as you reach back there. That's not good. Uh, his throat seems to be swelling close. That doesn't seem good. <laughs> Well, another knowledge, nature. Why not? Does that help at all? Now, this sounds more like something towards an allergic reaction. Yeah, that's what's interesting. <clears throat> You're that, that. So he's OD'd on something he's allergic to. Great. <laughs> Even better. You're allergic. I, I don't. I don't know the circumstances, but it sounds like he's having allergies. That's, uh, typically a lot harder to solve. And I don't have any magic to help, not that it really would right now. Well, I don't know, keep your hand in his throat so it doesn't close. You keep trying to make him vomit, I, I don't know. Unless it's a bad idea, what, what? Like, there isn't really any way that we could help significantly with a logic reaction of what we've got, is there? Another option is his body's doing this to him because it's consciously doing it. As well? Maybe if he wasn't conscious, he could not it'd stop it. Who knows? I mean, you, you could try knocking him out, it might relax him. Okay, I'm gonna hit him in the head. <laughs> Fuck it out, you don't even. <laughs> you don't even hesitate. Do, 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 yeah, right. They mess around, nope. just like. Not even like, oh, oh like choke him out or something, just, just fucking whack him. I'm, yeah, do you he's have, already choking. Do you have unarmed? No. Wait, you don't have. Wait, how do you Good not have Good for Astrod. I, I thought you were primarily a berserker. Yeah? You have unarmed. I've never used unarmed, so I... No, no, but you have it. Yes, it comes oh. unarmed. But so if it comes with unarmed. <laughs> so, what's you your strength? Un- 16. The weapon might of unarmed, the basic, is plus one. So, so one. as you punch him in the back of the head, What's your defense? Mine? No. Uh, uh, me, right? Uh, yes. My defense uh, is um, five. Oof. It's gonna take quite a few bashes. Oh. Yeah, as you bring your fist up and just bash him in the back of the head, he still stands as... He kind of just grits your teeth. It's probably for the better as you just... Meat clobber Astron over and over and over again until eventually. <laughs> I'm first bomb. Yeah. Astron just hits the bed, a bloody pulp. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are doing so well right now. Good work, I suppose. Uh, is there anything else you can do, Akiyama? If it comes to dealing with this kind of thing, I can deal with actual injuries, and I can give magical help. I can't give magical help right now. And, I mean, and now is actual injuries, but that's not the problem. Do you think any of the others that live here would know what to do? What's going on is you've been poisoned. It appears to be having a allergic reaction, possibly, and also overdosing on something. 
As to what, I have no idea. As to why, I have no idea. He's gonna go to uh, the main door and shout for Kohio. Yeah, get Kohio. Someone, someone, look around this area to see if you can find whatever the hell he ingested. All right, that that's, I can. That'd be a That'd be a search, not a spot. Okay. I, I no need to help. Never mind. It's magic, dude. <laughs> the magic is that. So as you start to search around for whatever it could be that he had ingested, what kind of food, if he was smoking anything, yeah, you don't find anything besides a small box. And inside it just looks to be rocks. It's so rocks. I found some rocks. So I, oh my God. I don't think he would eat rocks. Ah, uh, no. No. There's nothing ah. else. You find a Not random like assortment it. of lewd equipment, but no, nothing else. What? It's a bedroom. Oh. Right. Uh, I found clothes, and I found these rocks. Either he's been eating clothes, or he's been eating rocks, or he's had something else. It's quite possible whatever he had, he had in one go. I'd Makes go with sense. the rocks to the something else. Didn't we see him receive this box? D did we? I wasn't paying attention to him. And he's been asked, he's been waiting for something as well. I would assume yes. it was this. Right, I'm more or less. Look like? What do these rocks look like? Yeah. Like river stones. So not anything particularly special. Nope. These, these just look like pebbles, something you'd find next to a river. Well, I was asking Ash, actually, didn't we see him receive this box? No one actually made a spot check to watch him take it. Yeah. Actually, no. Uh -huh. It was pretty blatant. The guy came in. Yeah. It was one of the men of the um, this plane. He kind of just thrusted it to him. Then he got slapped. Yeah. Oh! I remember that now. <laughs> I remember that. So we should remember this box. Well, no, I was I was going on, like, just... It, it wasn't something I was paying attention to, because it happened, like, right about the same time all the shit with, um... Raya having a fight was happening, so... Just... You know, wasn't paying attention to it. No, this was when we were oh, back that's... in the room. It was literally the last yeah, session that it happened. Yeah, it was back in the room. Yeah, I mean, like, it still just wasn't someone who's paying attention to. It's kind of just been in the bath the whole time. But around so this, this time, as you guys have been like trying to figure this out, while looking outside the door, <clears throat> eventually Kohil would be making an approach... Another individual, currently bound by his legs and hands, by a chain that's been drugged forcibly in the halls with him, currently looking to be dressed in black robes covering most of his frame, as Kohil makes his studied approach. What is it? Um... Quickly, it's it's the demon. He's been poisoned. I think I don't know. Dying, having a reaction. I we don't fucking You're not know. There. You're not All there. of the above. You're not there. Not on it. Not on the room yet. <laughs> poisoned by. That's impossible. No one here would use a coward's way out. I don't know exactly what's going on. He's seizing and and. It looks like poison. I don't know anything about it. 
He looks back at the the being that he's been dragging along. As he snarls and nods as he comes in, like tugging on the chain roughly as the person being drugged just like lumbers in with a couple of um, groans and pain. Show him. Well, that'd be right cool doing that because we're all in the room. Yeah, right where you need to lead him. As an eye. Bring him to Astron. Show the one that is poisoned. Right, uh, this way. He's back here! <laughs> As Coheal would make his direct, precise movements into the room, arm one wrapped to the small of his back, the other with a chain firmly gripped around his um, fist. As he looks in. Alright. Um, strange question. Have you been feeding him rocks? <laughs> For what you chose to dine. Either it be rocks of your choosing or the buffet we had laid before you before your duel is not of my knowledge right but he got this box and uh, like you know he'd show out i think from one of yours i don't know if he requested it or something but <clears throat> it's just kind of full of rocks and he's now i think he's both overdosing and having a allergic reaction or something I, I, I've i never exactly really dealt with this kind before like this he would kind of just sneer looking at the scene yeah it's probably a pretty weird scene to look at <laughs> got a demon convulsing on a bed uh, got two people who are just naked and really wet a naked woman who looks like a man yeah. holding him down <laughs> in a bedroom <laughs> with a demon. Yeah. Why does it look like he had been beat by Mallet? Oh, because mm -hmm. he was convulsing yeah. and it would be better if he was unconscious. Uh, that, that was my fault. And it took her longer to make him go unconscious than initially thought. If the sentence has subsided, I will see if there is one who can create a solve for your problem. <clears throat> will, will you want these rocks to help? He looks at them and just sneers. No. Okay. Fail. Never, never fails. As he turns on his heel with the same precise movements and leaves out of the room, dragging it's the so other here. individual with him. Oh, very helpful. So, I, now what? I suppose we just wait. There's nothing else I can really do. And if it's all the same for you, I'm going to go put some clothes on. Can, we put, him in, can we put him in the water? That seemed to help the rest of us. Yeah, would the bath help? Maybe. It depends how it works. I it's mean, the gift. Shot, it's worth yeah. a shot as long as you make sure he doesn't drown in it. It's swallow the water. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'll grab him and I'll just go into the bath with him. Kind of taking on the responsibility of making sure he doesn't fucking drown. <laughs> yeah, I can't. just going to go put his clothes back on. You're a good mother. Right. 
terrible. I'm the worst mother. My son has OD'd on something he's allergic to. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking doubled up. <laughs> Doubly stupid. So as you take him into the bathwater and just lean him in there, his sweater just kind of matting to his reptilian flesh. Oh, we didn't take a sweater off? As his face still seems to be placid and like emotionless, the girls also, Leah and Nora, just looking in silent reservation, mixed with curiosity as the scene unfolds. Time seems to pass before eventually a... Another of those creatures comes in, a vial in tow, as it reaches in through the door and hands it to Riker directly. I was sent to deliver this. Right. Uh, thank you. And I hand it over to Akiyama. To me. Uh, you know, all you really have to do is make him drink this. It, it doesn't really matter who does it. Yeah. Uh, alright. I'll open I his up... mouth! <laughs> right, I walk over to the Again? mouth and, uh... <laughs> with dry opening the mouth, I'll pour it in. Please don't make me roll you even it got again. It. You haven't got it, Feyana. What? Akiyama has it. I thought he said Feyana. No. Oh. He said Akiyama. I heard Feyana, my bad. I can't hear for shit, my bad. Still holding his mouth open. Yeah. I don't care who pours it in. I'd go over and uh, pour it in, make sure he swallows it, and then back off very quickly. So immediately as you pour it in, almost out of a physical reaction, Astron just begins to writhe and squirrel and scream, um, like, not scream, like, squeam, move around in your grip, Raya. Go so ahead hold on. and make a strength. And Astron, make a escape artist. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Where's the last time? Oh, oh well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright. I'm not, I'm not too mad, now. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> As his tail like flips out of the water and like begins to wrap around your arm up to your neck, his hands begin to flail back and forth as the liquid begins to drain down his throat before he has like one final throw of strength that just tightens against your grip before he goes completely limp in your arm. Oh. Is that a good Is that good? Thing? Is he dead? Or what would you all tell if someone's alive? Stabilize. Can you check his pulse? Stabilize or I'll stabilize. Well, stabilize he looks to be he's... still breathing. Okay. He's definitely alive. And with like a 31 would be able to tell like things a bit better, like heart rate maybe. His heart rate's still racing. Okay, that's not great. Um, you, you may have to check his throat again. Alright. Uh, apparently I'm just the mouth opener. <laughs> At this point, he doesn't even have muscle to resist against you. He's just light, limp in your hands. Hey. You're gonna have to stick your hand in again. All right. Oh, and while he's, yeah, while he's doing that, just looking from behind, making sure everything's do... on the up and up. I'm gonna have to roll a side hand again. Yep. You're looking All into right. what? Just looking like from over the shoulder, making sure everything's on the up and up, and like it doesn't look like. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that's a thing that means you're gonna die. Worse. Well, one worse. You rolled a two last time. 
Well, yeah, but still. I yeah. fucking suck at everything. You go in there and... I quickly pull your arm out in pain as you accidentally stabbed it against his fang. Hmm. <laughs> Do you want to try again? <laughs> Blood. <laughs> Do I want to try again? His airways are completely obstructed, yes? What was that? So if he's breathing, then his airways aren't completely obstructed, yes? Yes, we're clear on that. <laughs> I mean, that's good. Do I want to roll another side of hand to check? Can I? You can attempt it not, if you want. I don't pretend I know what the hell is going on. I'm just making <laughs> sure he doesn't thrash and holding his mouth open. That is all I'm here for. So bad at this. <laughs> I know. Got those fire rolls today, guys. <laughs> Why? Uh, <laughs> you can't tell one way or another. It's a throat. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, that's all I know. Fuck it. I, I'm not gonna try again. I'll just get an eight again. Well, no. What you know is you can't tell one way or another. Oh. I, I can't tell. He's fine. As far as I can tell. Suppose that's all you have to go on, go off for. <clears throat> Again, um, this isn't exactly the kind of thing I typically deal with. If someone's having problems with a reaction or overdose, it's Typically, someone just drank too much at a tavern. <laughs> and uh, and almost on a demons. snap of a finger, Astron just pops back into his original self. <laughs> Wait, original <laughs> self? How? <laughs> how he was before he was gone. Yeah. Okay. I look around at the position I'm in with everyone around me, Feyana just taking her hand out of my mouth, me against <laughs> Raya's naked body. While I hold your mouth open? Yeah. I am... I'm not a host to this? <laughs> what? You wanna, um... It's all the for you. I'm, I'm could... letting go of his mouth. I'm letting, I'm letting go of his mouth. <laughs> Ah, uh, thank you. I mean, like, if that's what oh, you're God. all into, oh, I, I'm i completely God. fine with it. But, but, but oh, you know, God. even we demons would like some form of consent in the... <laughs> you <sighs> fucking moron! That's not exactly what's going on right now. Also, I already made that joke before. You can't make it. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, why? Why'd you put me in the bath with my sweater on? God damn, I got to rinse this out and. She kind of wanted to explain why you were kind of dying. <clears throat> I'm sorry? What? You appear to be having some kind of mixture of a allergic reaction and an overdose, and you were spasming out on the floor, and a, it looked like you were eating rocks or something. Uh, well, either that or clothes. <clears throat> GM, what exactly do I remember? What you remember last was inhaling the stone and being sent to a euphoric moment as basically you enacted some type of great success that didn't feel like it was your own. Like, you were living almost osmosis through someone else's success. That's it? That's the last thing you battery. remember? Okay. Um... So that happened? I'm, I'm looking to Akiyama after you explain that. So what happened? Huh. Do you mean you spasming and almost dying? That certainly happened. Do you want to fill us in on why, maybe? Where are the rocks? <clears throat> I've got no, I, I don't. I don't think you get any more of those. 
But I, I, I don't think it's a good idea to give you more rocks. And why you are eating rocks, I have no idea. Are you going to explain or not? So you all saved my life, essentially? Effectively, I suppose, yes. Huh. Care to tell us why we needed to? Well, I like to thank all of you for that. Are you going out to of the bed. No, I'm still holding on to you. You're not I, going anywhere. Okay. Um, yeah, seriously, I stop trying to reach around the point here. Okay, well... Please I explain. Ate, so, I ate something that I shouldn't have. I should have checked with you all first. Was it I rocks? I apologize. <laughs> it was indeed rocks. Why were you eating rocks? Be There's a perfectly good buffet just, just there. <laughs> rocks are not food. <laughs> well, you know, we demons, we have a specific diet. You know? I as far as I know, you're not one of those slags. You Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I, I didn't I wasn't exactly uh, aware that demons ate rocks or was Well they were special kind well they were a special kind of rock that I asked specifically for and they gave it to me and I was so excited that I didn't mm. think to really ask exactly how to actually do the Apparently you're allergic to them. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry? Allerg yeah. Allergic? I can't be allergic. I can't be allergic to... To what? I'm gonna roll a Nodge Demon to see if it's actually possible for me to be allergic to that. <laughs> Go right ahead, young one. Roll me too. <laughs> Good job. Yep. Some demons that become what they are and transcend to shiatans have some sparks of themselves that still resent how they became what they are that doesn't fully give in to their demonic nature so i've so i'm essentially i'm not exactly half human or something like that or half mortal but essentially because that I've retained some of what I used to be before I became a demon, it seems that that might react poorly with trying to eat souls. That's at least what you assume from your knowledge of demons. Right. Hmm. What type of rock was it? Yeah. A rock that I might have use for. Not one that I will eat, don't you worry about that. I don't think I'm going to give these back to you. Oh, you still we have them? Just, like, we should throw them away. Mice? No, you, no, you should definitely hold on to those. I, <laughs> I'm Why? not very stealth. I'm not... We could use them for some things. I Maybe don't exactly what trust kind of you rock. with these. No. Then don't give... Okay, fine, then don't give them to me. You can hold on to them. And I, I think it it won't be very difficult to just ask what they are from whoever you got them from here. So well, you yeah, can you either could tell ask. me now, or you could make Wait. me waste like five minutes of my own time to go ask them. All right. Well, apparently they might be rocks <laughs> that um, I could be allergic to, considering my nature as a demon. Not my demonic nature, but just my nature as a shaitan. Stop beating um, around the bush. What are they? The rocks that demons can eat. Stuff inside the rocks that we can eat, and we... Oh God. Do these rocks have souls in them? I'll take that as so, a yes. yes. That's a yes. Sense that sense motive to silence. <laughs> <laughs> Lie, you won't. You can't do it, bitch. I'm 37. What the fuck? <laughs> Try lying to Akiyama. You can't. Oh my god. Only he's allowed to lie to people. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't trying to exactly 
lie. He was just withholding information. So with that sense, mode, you could definitely right. sense that once you talked about the whole soul thing, he was like, damn it, he kind of got it. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's how I get it. Okay, so that's a yes. I don't think I'm going to give you these back. I don't know entirely where how you get souls into rocks or why you would want to or how any of that works, but you know what? I don't, I don't think I care right now. It doesn't matter. Hold like on to them, though. Away. We can use them for some for other what? stuff. What? What can we okay. use them for? Okay. Well, okay. So if we want, if, if we if we want to just you know go straight to it, then um, I'm looking for someone who's a shaitan like me. Maybe I could feed this to them, and they could just fall on the floor and die. It'll like cut a lot of corners for me. We don't want no. to help you murder someone. In fact, we're we're not even doing that. We're going to do what we need to do to go back home immediately and as soon as possible. That's okay, it. Yes, yes, but we can still keep that. Does this have to do with the ring that you're looking for? Yes, the ring I'm looking for. It's supposed to be a ring that's supposed to show me that's supposed to show me where the my desires are in the world and it would show me where he is so I can go and kill him or her. I don't know what they are at the moment. They could be anything. So your that's plan was to kill this person with one of these rocks so you ate one yourself? No, I didn't know that the rocks existed. I didn't know that the rocks could actually kill me. But now that they're there, I would, and now I know that they can kill things like me. Seems like a very good so plan. Are you saying you How just took these know? random and just decided the best thing to do was to eat them? I asked for them because I wanted to know what a soul tasted like. Never had a soul before ever? I died. I, I don't know so exactly what to tell you, but that sounds how immensely to eat stupid. What you were eating and nearly not, died. I did not think to ask that, no. I did not think of it as drugs. I thought of it as food. I thought that it's just the normal thing the food you just put in your mouth and swallow and chew if you need to. Didn't think of it like drugs. <laughs> How do you even know? At this point, I just I let him go, and I just stand <laughs> here. I'm done. I can't. I can't. How I do you even know don't. if this person you want to kill is allergic like you are? They could be perfectly fine to this. He never Thanks. said that. Yeah, I did. I no. He did, like, didn't he? No. no I said. He said that I, I said oh. people like him. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's My what bad, I said. bad. Yeah, I mean, like he could. I'm fairly certain that. With what I know of, know of my kind, we should probably work the same way. Same biology, kind of, sort of. At least when it comes to eating souls. Anyway, I'm just going to slither out of the bath. Um, like I said, thank you all for not letting me die. That is now one, that is now one I owe most of you. However, with Feyana, it's now neutral I since I did save your life. But, uh, <laughs> I hold him there for a couple of seconds and I let go. <laughs> Why? To shut you up. <laughs> Cast around to slow anyone. Yeah. Slow this back over to the food corner, just starts eating berries or whatever. <laughs> Stress eating. <laughs> Anyway. So as Emotional. this time begins to pass on, eventually the hours pass till the time of reckoning begins with the plan that you all had to head off in hopes to successfully get that tome out of the tower. Astron also, as he's eating berries, finally realizes that he hurts a lot in the head and it's like ow 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 oh, what the hell what the you, you might you might want to take it easy for a while okay, I'm gonna <laughs> slither back into the bath taking off my sweater to dry and asking Leah Nora can you please help this <laughs> just this 
giant lump on the back of your head. <laughs> so, as that time passes, you find yourselves on the other side of the black scar. Your equipment and items and capabilities as you pass by the exit gate on the other side of the structure seemingly return back to its original capabilities. The magic's flowing through them as need be. So I turn back into normal form. Yeah, you also watch uh, Akiyama shift back to his uh, human form. It's quite, um, <clears throat> in comparison to the other one you saw, it's quite hard to look at because like, you can see um, kind of bones shift around as a bit like quite a bit of, like cr like crackling noises to it. It's it's not great. It's not great. Yeah, same thing with Astron. <laughs> I mean, it does it doesn't seem to bother Akiyama whatsoever, but like, as an outsider looking in, it's quite disturbing to watch. I just, yeah. I feel kind of sick after watching that. Yeah, as as Astron picks himself back up after shifting back. Yeah, it takes out the hat from his bag, fits it on his head, and also uh, and also ties the ear, ear flaps together just to make sure not having that happen again, hopefully. Yep. Um, okay, so I look back. So when I said my tail popped out, did it pop through my pants? Or did it's it just... Above it. Yeah. Or wh was it above it? I'm, I'm asking the GM because it'll be done as he wills it. No, remember. <laughs> okay. All right, then, all right, then I say that it kind of popped out from over the pants and didn't break it. So I then tuck my tail back in for it to curl back around my leg. Like, okay, that's back to normal. Thanks. I've discussed before. Please never discuss this ever again. Yes. With anyone. And with that, I you guys hear... Uh, ring back on. As you guys get to that point, go heal makes his way around the bend in front of you. You have approximately five of your tilleth time in hours to make your approach before the letters shall be sent. Right. All right. Thank Let's you, I suppose. Going. Use your time wisely. Yeah, no idea. It'll do. Thank you for your hospitality. It was great. Thank you for not outright killing us. Um, Speak for yourself. We'll make sure to keep track of your um, uh, deity's savior thing. Um, as I as I point over to Raya, and uh, we'll be all good. So no, no. You will not. She needs not your protecting. <laughs> well, you Sir, say that, but Akiyama, I he just feel turns like on a heel and starts to walk away. <laughs> I feel Bye. like we should probably. This is the, the, this is Astron talking now. We should probably shut up. <laughs> As I rub my cheek. <laughs> you. He's walking away, see? That's it. That's just you. Like, don't mm. think that I'm gonna cause any problems. I'm fine. I'm sure. I'm more than fine. I'm great. Ah, okay. Do we see well, the spire in the... what direction? Do we see the spire in the distance? It's impossible not to. Yep. All right. Cool. Everyone, Let's follow go. me. As your guide, I shall take you all to the spire. As he turns and does Good the, idea. uh, like a Looney Tunes thing and just, like, emphasizes his movements and he takes his first step. And the moment he does take that step, you guys are immediately just assaulted with this bombastic thunderclap and noise as <clears throat> you guys kind of, like, stumble for a moment when you hear that. Looking up into the sky, you see this brilliant white comet, like, leap from what looks like a purple and black tentacle black hole and Kareen like you assume like a mile or two ahead of you into the ground 
looking like it was roughly person shaped. What was that about? Going to roll a knowledge dark to see if that usually happens in here. I'm going to throw a knowledge nature, a knowledge planes, and, and a better, knowledge talons. No, not local. It wasn't supposed to be local. Supposed to be nature. There you go. So yeah, nature doesn't matter what you roll because it's not going to help you. I'm doing them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that helps not at all. Good. And yeah, to I'm answer your question, right. Astron, no, it does not happen often. Huh, that doesn't happen often. <sighs> does it happen well, let's all? avoid that, and let's just walk around there, because I don't know what that is. I don't like dealing with stuff I don't know about anymore. I do not love, I'm not in the mood for any adventure. I just want to get, I just, I just want to, let's not go there. As I start making my way to go, to make my way to go to a point and path around there. I kind of want to know what it is, though. Why? No. Could be interesting, I suppose. Did we not just we have the make... conversation? Did he not just tell us, let's use our time wisely? And I think the time to use wisely is to just go around that. Is the comment, like, basically, like, directly in the most... Like I quick, said quick comment in off. descriptive terms. It looked humanoid as it careened to the ground. Yeah, okay, but is that like more more or less like on the most direct route where we need to go? More or less. It's pretty much on the route anyway. Come across it anyway. I'm sure that I can find us a better route. I no. I got you. I got I, I got you guys through that whole lava pit thing, right? Without without a hitch. It, it really wasn't about a hitch. Akiyama, has that bath given you a spine? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Excuse me? <laughs> Up until it. now, you've been asking to avoid any kind of danger at all, and now all of a sudden you want to go out and find whatever it is this that showed up in this plane that nothing good has happened in yet? So like, you know... <laughs> I'm sorry. It looked safe to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fine, we can follow you then. But if we go and die somewhere, it's be your fault, Mr. Don't, don't, Fox. Don't follow me. Someone else can lead. I love that! Oh my god! Fine, I guess I'll be in front of everyone, and I'll be the first to die. Right. Right. Whenever I go in front, he's the best to hide behind. It's fun. There if, it's, goes. if it's on our way, I don't see the harm. But a quick review of our plan here. In five hours, they'll send the message. Mm -hmm. Are we trying to meet this entity on the road, or subvert him into the tower? Do we think he'll have that tome on him? From what I gather from how they're describing him, I have a fair assumption that we are probably no match for him if he somehow was too much of a problem for the guy who could kill a dragon, so... I suppose you just have to... either... not... go anywhere near him... or if we do, be very nice and... try to strike a deal... It <laughs> might be worth checking... the spire... while he's not there and if the tome isn't there then we just find him yes because i'm pretty sure he has to make his way back to there and if he was in a position that we could ambush him to go to um this uh fortress behind us i'm fairly certain that we can ambush him on the way back so Well, all right. All right. 
Wow. So, as you push forward, you make your way across the magma spires as one erupts just off camera with the tower kind of parallel to it in the scene looming in the distance as this grave final obelisk that is your last step to escaping the dark plane with that we're going to go ahead and take our first break Uh, i'm sorry did that bath give you a spine (laughs) that was the best line of the night so far well, I can't tell you, kind of actually, because that and there's a perfectly good buffet. You don't need to eat rocks. Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. We're gonna be back here in about ten to fifteen minutes to continue on with our episode of episode our week eleven of Empire of the Lost next. So talk to you guys later. Peace. Peace and stuff. Hardcore for. MBD, most valued dead. <laughs> like.